So the first question, Dr. Adil Al Zarani. Um, what are you looking forward to this uh, summit, the 16th uh, Siritosa summit in Dubai? Well, I have been uh, associated with the summit since they've started in the, the region and it has uh, continuously provided good quality audience and good quality networking and good quality information uh, shared amongst, amongst the audience. I've also attended uh, many of the sessions uh, and the panels and you find a lot of good quality pa panels covering interesting subjects, so I continue to, to enjoy it. Yes. Um, I just want to record it on the telephone as well. What you are seeing, just one more. Oh. How, uh, how often have you, uh, when did you start to, when was the first time you have um, joined the summit uh, in Dubai? I'm not sure, it has been quite a, a long time. Uh, probably this is the fifth one or the fourth one, I'm not sure anymore. Yes. But it has, they have started a while ago and they continue to grow. Yes. And Sierra uh, Toso have been quite consistent with growing the event and growing the quality of the networking. Yes. Um, so, can you please tell us how is your firm connected to the summit and um, which are the main areas of the operation of your firm? So, um, basically I run a couple of family offices, uh, mainly focusing on healthcare, education, financial services, technology, uh, FMCG and FMD. Uh, me being also an academic in the field of uh, family businesses, sustainability, uh, both the practical side and the academic side uh, are quite relevant to the events that uh, Serritoso runs. And this is where the relationship has started. So I've been consistently uh, joining the panels, talking about the latest uh, in the subject of family businesses and family offices sustainability. And, and this is where the whole event is actually revolving around. The sustainability of family offices and, and helping them network and sharing knowledge, uh, which is uh, the talk of the town nowadays, seeing that the shift between the, uh, the first or the second generation is happening as we speak. Uh, and, and the issues are actually appearing and, uh, in the current era. So, so this, these are the subjects of interest. Uh, that's actually really interesting because um, it coincides with the Expo, which also has the theme of sustainability, um, which Dubai is hosting this year. Um, what, uh, what made you um, trigger your interest in sustain sustainable practices and uh, I, I think it came uh, initially from a, my own family office, uh, which I established around a decade ago. Uh, I face challenges when I try to understand what is it that I should do uh, to make this family more structured and more sustainable and, and, and give it the ability to survive uh, across few decades. And in doing my own research, I've realized there are a lot of misconceptions and uh, a lot of different practices that were not really relevant to my own uh, community and my own uh, context, the context of the business. So uh, it encouraged me to, to address the challenges and research them. Uh, hence my interest has evolved both on the practical side as well as the academic side. Um, of how would I evolve this this concept of sustainable family business within the context and the society that I serve, uh, and this is how it, uh, it actually evolved. Can you please elaborate on the on this aspect of uh, sustainability? How it can be uh, misused or mis um, misunderstood? Which uh, what does it uh, mean for you specifically? This the sustainable approach uh, and what what is the most important in the, in your so, field uh, 
So th there are many definitions of what is sustainability, mm. but, the, but the definition that I go with is how do you um, enjoy the limited resources that the society and the environment is giving you uh, while make, ensuring that future generations could enjoy them equally. Uh, and this is how I define it. And accordingly, the same goes with family businesses. How can I enjoy the outcome of a family business, both economically and socially and, uh, and culturally? How can I enjoy that, making sure that future generations of the family could also equally enjoy it, if not more. Uh, and provide a mechanism, a process, whereby this could continue across multiple generations moving forward. And could continue adding value to the economies they serve and the societies they uh, operate within. So, so that, those are the interests that I call in. So you, uh, you seek to kind of, um, um, yeah, avoid the, to deploy the resources uh, in order to have the same uh, level of um, uh, opportunities for the next generation and the next generation again. Yes. Uh, is this something that you also um, uh, elaborate in your book uh, which you are planning to launch tomorrow? Um, we have your book here with us and uh, is this something also we can read about in your book uh, as well? Exactly. I thought it would have been a good idea to produce a book that is easy to read, but comes from an academic and a practical uh, source. So the first run of the book was actually quite academic, uh, and I to toned it down so that it is easily read by anybody. And, and with the reader reading or going through the book, they would be able to, uh, first of all, comprehend what is a family business and comprehend what is sustainability and be able to relate to the book with case studies so that uh, ultimately, at the end of the book, they'd be able to at least understand the essentials of what needs to be addressed in order for an individual to care for a family and be in a, in a family business and be able to support that family business uh, sustain few generations. Uh, so that means you have some uh, concrete examples in the book uh, which readers can uh, yes. kind of study. So a lot of and, statistics, uh, hmm? a lot of tools uh, to guide a reader in comprehending the subject, as well as uh, avoid the misconceptions. So there's a lot of misconceptions in the field, understandably, uh, and hence gets the reader to be able to focus on what matters. Yes. That's really important because, it, as you say, there is many misconceptions and um, various definitions of the terms. So how do we achieve the, yeah, the agreement and uh, because that's uh, necessary to make progress and uh, make the necessary steps to achieve the sustainable uh, practices. Um, how, um, what can you tell us about the writing process of the book? That sounds really interesting. I mean, uh, how did you uh, approach the research and um, um, did, you had, um, um, did you had some external um, guidance uh, of course, in the research? Uh, so, so first of all, these, the essences of the book came from my PhD thesis in the field. Oh, so I yes. did years of research, talking to families and resorting to professionals and experts in the field and going through a lot of academic uh, write-ups, uh, as well as evolving my own uh, processes and business models. Uh, so it came initially or, or mainly from that source, adding to it my own practices and the practices of families that I met globally, uh, gaining from their knowledge and reflecting some of these case studies in, in the book. Uh, and with that, 
I hope that the book is a good balance between practice and academia and the language is more easily readable than, than it is academic in nature uh, so that anyone could hopefully enjoy it and learn from it and be able to share that knowledge. Excellent. So a lot of case studies and uh, it's available in English and, uh, and Arabic. And Arabic, Arabic well. will come out in a couple of weeks Great. and it should go on Amazon in a few days. Wow. Congratulations. Um, so um, with, uh, with this in mind, what is your next project uh, or area of focus? So I am uh, currently focusing on, or I have focused uh, the last decade in development of economic zones and in sustainability of uh, family businesses. Uh, my next field of interest is uh, growing venture studios, uh, hopefully for family businesses as well as academic institutions and economic zones. So um, I hope that through creating those venture studios, uh, uh, able to help the economies, those family businesses, those academic institutions, and those economic zones, grow their suite of services and products and entrepreneurs that could actually deliver on these services and products and, and potential of leveraging that across the whole region and globally. Amazing. That's, uh, that's really, um, um, I mean, um, a long, long term project and um, as you say, you, you want to have the future generations to enjoy the same uh, level of sustainability, so that's why it's important. Um, I don't think we will have more um, longer interview. Um, I hope that it was uh, useful. And, uh, that was really, uh, that was really, uh, actually, I, um, 